So here is a question for you my dear nerd. Have you ever watched Dragon Ball Z? For those who might not know, Dragon Ball Z is an anime that well, my generation and most probably yours grew up with. It's a show about some young people training and slowly but surely realizing that discipline and hard work and iterative improvement moves them forward and they advance and they progress and for some reason or another they eventually change shape and form and they get angry and screamy and for some weird messed up reason this essentially turns them into German people. Okay, I oversimplified it, but that's the point of this video today. We're gonna talk about iterative improvement, because I feel like the RG40XXH is an iteration over past handhelds that we love. And in this case, we can plainly say that this is how a love child between the RG Cube and my beloved RG35XXH would look like. Look at this baby right here. This is quite a divisive handheld, I would say. I can already hear part of my nerds, my beautiful, beautiful nerds, which are you guys. You would tell me, Vlad, this is just another H700 SoC handheld. We've had a million of these. Why is this flipping one different? And I hear you. I really hear you. And I have pros and cons to make that point. But I also hear the other group of nerds, which might say that this is actually the best H700 handheld that Ambernick ever released. And I agree with these guys and these guys as well. But quickly, before I move on, I just want to say that this particular RG40XXH was sent to me by the awesome, awesome guys at LitNXT. In case you don't know about LitNXT, Lit NXT is one heck of a good store actually. They focus around retro emulation handhelds and they are, in my opinion, one of the best stores out there. They have good customer support, competitive prices, and I really, genuinely, as a person, not as a YouTuber, recommend that you check them out. But don't get me wrong, they haven't sponsored this video, they haven't seen this video beforehand, no money exchanged hands, all thoughts are my own, and this is how it will always be, my dear nerds. So, let's get into talking about this handheld, because we have a lot to talk about. Let's start with the beginning. The unboxing is honestly pretty lackluster. You get a box, which is quite a cute box. You get a leaflet, which tells you which buttons do which. You get a tiny cable, and that's it. If you expected a screen protector, then I guess that's your fault for having too many expectations in this life. You shouldn't expect anything for free in this life, my dear nerds, except friendship from me and hugs. That's all you should expect. But I would argue that you don't even need a screen protector on this thing because of these elongated thumbsticks. But before I get there, I just want to go through the physical aspects of this because I feel like this handheld has a lot of things going for it. You see, I know a lot of my nerds have been asking for stacked shoulder and trigger buttons. Well, now we have them. You know, I had no problem with inline shoulder and trigger buttons. In fact, I prefer them for pocketability reasons, but I know that a lot of you fine nerds wanted these and you know, they sound pretty good, but don't even dare to hope for analog triggers. These are purely digital. However, I would say that for such an entry level handheld, what are you gonna use analog triggers for? The digital ones are perfectly okay, I wouldn't even count this as a loss. But in my opinion, this isn't even the most important thing about the handheld. The start of the show, here is the screen. This screen, this screen is, well, the make it or break it thing about this handheld. It's the thing that will make you either buy it or ignore it. I don't want to make cheesy that's what she said jokes all the time but half an inch makes all the difference in the world my dear nerds it really does i am 
flabbergasted, my mind has been split open and I feel like I see the light. When I've reviewed small handhelds, I've mostly dealt with 3.5 inch screens, except for the, the PAL KD RGB20SX, I kinda got it into my head that 3.5 inches is the standard. Well, let me tell you that seeing, for example, Wario Land 4 on 4 inches just makes the game so much better. <laughs> so stupidly better than what I used to experience with a 3.5 inch screen. And this is the thing about the RG40XXH. The screen it should be your main point of focus. If you hate it, then it's game over. You shouldn't buy it. You shouldn't do anything with it. But if you love it, then by all means embrace it. Then it's a good reason to actually get this flipping thing. But this actually brings me to my main conclusion over this handheld. You get to trade enhanced ergonomics because this one feels amazing in the hand. These rounded shapes that were inherited from the RG Cube, they feel so flipping comfortable in the hand. Way more comfortable than my old sweetheart, the RG35XXH, which I still love by the way. I know I was tough on the RG35XXH in that video, but it's only from heartbreak because I didn't want the battery to be, you know, placed on top of the SOC on the RG35XXH. Thankfully though, the battery here is on the side of the SOC, so they are separate. So everything that I said in my previous video doesn't apply to this mother flipper right here, because for some reason or another, Anne Burnick just randomly decided that maybe it's good not to put the battery on the SOC. I'm not saying I was right, but... <clears throat> I'm not arrogant, please still like me. <laughs> anyway, coming back to my point. This is a handheld that symbolizes a trade that you need to do. You are receiving better ergonomics, a bigger screen, overall a better experience. When you play everything, everything that you play on this will be a better experience. But you are sacrificing pocketability. Pocketability goes to poop with this handheld. I don't like that the triggers are way taller than what we have on the RG35XXH. And even though a lot of people are fans of stacked shoulder and trigger buttons, they create this, how should I put, these little horns right here, these ones, and these also affect pocketability. The triggers get stuck to your pocket lining, these things poke at you, it's not the same thing. The RG35XXH, by comparison, that's a flipping rectangle. It slides in and out of the pocket with elegance, with grace. But when it comes to the gameplay experience, this is king. It's that simple. I have I think I've had all recent Anbrnik handhelds so far, and I can say that this one is king. It's not pocketable, but when you play on it, it's chef's kiss. But it does have some weird particularities, my dear nerds. For example, you'd think that being bigger, it means that you have a bigger battery. But that's not really the case. As I said earlier, Anbernick moved the battery from being on top of the SOC, like on the RG35XXH, to putting it on the side. And this meant that whatever space they gained from the extra form factor, they kind of lost a bit with that move. And the RG35XXH actually has a slightly bigger battery. It has 33,000 milliamps as opposed to the 3,200 milliamps that the RG40XXH has. 100 milliamps, like what is that? L let's be serious. That won't drastically change your experience with any device. If anything, What's gonna eat your battery on this thing is the bigger screen. And fun fact about aspect ratio math. Basically, 0.5 inches extra here means that this screen is 30% bigger than any of the 3.5 inch screens out there. I actually found this quite interesting because 30% more is nothing to scoff at. But you know, my dear nerds, 
We should also talk about the things that just grinds my gears with this handhold. There are things that I find quite annoying. I touched upon some of them, but I feel like we need to reiterate a bit. The fact that this is not pocketable is not something that sits with me well. I am not a fan of the fact that I know this won't sit in my pocket as neatly and as, well, tightly as it should. The fact that it has tall sticks is, in my opinion, I might be wrong with this, but it might be related to the fact that Ambernick decided to put RGB lights around the sticks. And call me, you know, a stickler if you want, but I love my handhelds to be quite efficiently designed. I don't want to leave battery on the table. I don't like wasting energy. I don't want to know that some of the current in the battery is simply wasted on what? On aesthetics? It would have been beautiful, just paint these mother flipping things behind the triggers black and you would have a perfectly black handheld. You don't need to put RGB lights into everything, especially not in a handheld that doesn't play past Dreamcast. And this actually reminds me, for those who don't know, the H700 SOC in this is the same one in basically all of the Linux sub $100 handhelds that Ambernick released in the last year or so. And you can play up to Dreamcast and PSP, meaning that you can play some of the library, not all of the library, but you get to have a basically perfect experience with anything below these systems, meaning arcade, PS1, anything of the sort. But yeah, not to be too scatterbrain with this. I was talking about the things that I don't like. Pocketability is out of the window. And the fact that I know that we're wasting battery with these flipping RGB lights. Well, some people might like RGB lights. They are just not for me. Let me put it this way. And it's okay if some people like them. You know, I heard RGB makes you game faster. But I wouldn't know anything about that. I play the same games <laughs> on each of them. I am an old man. <laughs> but that's not gonna affect me, my dear nerds, because I don't play to win, and I think none of you do. I think we play to feel, to feel, you know, the sweet embrace of the better times, the ones that we left behind for luxuries, like growing up and paying rent, and we got screwed. Paying taxes? Who doesn't love paying taxes? Where does your brain want to be? Here in the present, paying taxes and dealing with your mortgage? Or retreating back to better times where you just played Wario Land and had a GBA? You know, that's kind of the thing. We play to feel, we don't play to be competitive with old games, and I feel like RGB lights work best in Android handhelds, for example, in things like the RG cube, but come on, on this, I don't know what to say. But anyway, let's draw a conclusion to this thing. Should you get the RG40XXH? Well, it depends how much does half an inch <laughs> matter to you. <laughs> because it matters to me, my dear nerd. I have seen the light, like I said. I used to be surrounded and I still am surrounded by 3.5 inch handhelds everywhere and i'm here to tell you that the world is much better with four inches than with it <laughs> this is not a bit i actually mean the screen makes everything more enjoyable here but if you buy this and if you travel just chuck this in the backpack throw it in a bag don't try to carry it in a pocket i think you will hate it if you carry it in a pocket you need to know what this is. This is a bag handheld. It's small, don't get me wrong, it's not huge or anything, but the fact that it's not pocketable because of these flipping sticks is, well, that's what makes it a bag handheld. So, if performance doesn't really matter to you, because I assume if you're watching this, you probably have other Anbernic handhelds by now. If you don't, then yeah, definitely buy this. If you have, however, other Anbernic handhelds, you need to understand that the experience besides the screen 
will be more or less identical. To reiterate, to go back to my question, how much do 4 inches matter to you? But you know what else should matter, my dear nerds? You subscribing to this channel, because Vlad Nerd is actually a very small channel and I want us to grow. All nerds should congregate around Vlad Nerd. Let's make Vlad Nerd quite a decently big channel. My dream, my dear nerds, is for one day for Ambernick to slide into my DMs because the channel would just be big enough for them to notice me and for them to be like, hey Vlad Nerd, what's up? Do you want to review some handhelds? And I would be like, Ambernick, oh, I've been waiting for this moment for my entire life. Do you know how many runs I went through because of your decisions? Now we have a lifeline. Now we can talk and you're gonna listen to me. We need to grow this channel. There is no other way. There is no other way to achieve anything that's important in this life, my, my dear nerd. We can only achieve anything positive by subscribing. Well, this probably won't happen ever because Anbernic only works with humongous channels. But yeah, if you like my rants and if you like what I do, please do me this favor and subscribe. I really want to see this channel grow. I think we are one heck of a nice community. I wouldn't replace any of you for anything. I really believe this. There's no moment in the comment section where I feel like I wouldn't resonate with any of you and I never thought I would feel like this. And by the way, weird place to include this, but if you really like what I do and if you want to help me push Vlad Nerd further, please consider also being a direct supporter of the channel. I appreciate each and every one of you that support me directly because for me it's more about the message. Whenever I feel demotivated, I just get reminded that some people threw their hat in the ring for me and they're like, you know what, I like what you do Vlad and I love them for this. But I also love you if you don't do this. However, you should subscribe, that's my only requirement. But yeah, this is all from me, let me know what you think of the RG40XXH. I honestly quite love it, I think it took a lot of elements from a lot of handhelds that we loved and just smacked them, morphed them, blended them together until this thing was born. And the result is not half bad. The problem is that if you have a lot of handhelds, you must figure out by yourself if you still have room for this guy and if you want this guy. I think this is more of a key question than anything else. But in any case, my dear nerds, I'll see you in the next video. It's 4 a.m while I'm recording this, I'll have to edit. But in any case, my dear nerds, this is all from me. I love you very much. And as always, see you in the next video.